Good morning, good afternoon, family. You know, this story um kind of really um, gets under, it's close to home, you know, and uh, uh, because that uh, Gabby uh, Petito, you know, they I guess they finally found the girl's body, but what's kind of sad is anybody that has Abu- dealt with abuse, um, have a family member who is a victim of domestic violence, um, and they're no longer here to speak for themselves. But, you know, again, murder of a loved one is one of the. Oops. When someone takes your loved one away, it's kind of like a hard thing to, uh, regurgitate sometimes. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But this Utah park ranger he warned this girl about her relationship with Brian uh, Lord L- Laundry, and he told her that her, her relationship was toxic after responding to a 911 call of a man slapping a girl. As forensic psychologist says, the body cam footage shows that she was actually scared of him. You know, for those of us who have daughters, um, I know that um, that's like sensitive. You would hope that they don't get tangled up with no body that would um, do any harm to them. Anybody that would um, manipulate them in such a way that they're afraid of the individual. Um and if they are, I hope they have enough uh, wherewithal to s- tell somebody that because this right here is just, ser- you know, it's a very sad situation. Melissa Holes, the, uh, the visitor and resource protection supervisor at Arches National Park, responded to a call stemming from an argument. She arrived to find a couple pulled over by a police officer inside the park. She says she was imploring with Petito to reevaluate her relationship. Forensic psychologist uh, Dr. Ziv Ezra Cohen said that the police body cam of the incident shows uh, Petito looking just scared and overwhelmed. The couple were both minimizing their argument. And may have been high and having a bad trip, the expert said. Body cam released last week shows Petito sobbing in the August 12th incident and telling officers that the couple had been fighting all morning. The initial 911 call released Monday revealed a witness first responded seeing the gentleman was slapping on the girl. A body matching Petito's description was found in Wyoming Sunday while la- laundry is now missing. What y'all think? Yeah, right. <sighs> My heart go out to her family. Uh, you know, because he had no business uh, doing what he did. Because uh, that's why he's missing. Unless he fell down the down in the park and y'all found him down on in some rocks or in between some, you already know why he running. A Utah park ranger has revealed that she warned Gabby Petito her relationship with Brian Laundry uh, seemed very toxic and responded to the possible domestic assault incident involving the couple back on August 12th. Melissa Holes. The visitor and resource protection supervisor at the Arches National Park in Moab says she was imploring with Petito to reevaluate her relationship. But the 22 year old didn't understand just how big of a deal this was. I'm telling you, y'all, is that it don't it don't take much to get dead when you involve in a relationship or with somebody and it's, and it's emotionally charged or y'all both on drugs and y'all both like, um, it's, it, it can't end up nowhere but all bad. 
you know, and sometimes would you be put inside a garbage can somewhere? Hall said that she um, had responded to a call stemming from an argument between Petito and Laundry and arrived to find a couple pulled over by police inside the park. Police body cam footage was released last week of the encounter showing a sobbing Petito telling officers that they had been fighting all morning before the cops ag um, agreed that she was the primary aggressor. Wow. In the initial call released Monday, um, uh, um, has since re revealed a witness first reported seeing the gentleman was slapping on the girl. A forensic psychiatrist now has spoken out to say the footage of the August 12th incident, 13 days before Petito was last heard from alive, raises red flags and suggests that she was scared of her boyfriend. Dr. Ziv Ezra Cohen, a clinical professor of uh, psychiatry at Will Cornell Medical College um, at Cornell University, told the news that Laundry and Petito were both minimizing their argument when the police got there and said the footage suggested that the couple may have been high or having a bad trip and they behinds out there at a national park. A body match in Petito's description was recovered from the Grand Tinton National Park in Wyoming on Sunday. Meanwhile, Laundry is now missing with his parents telling cops Friday that they have not seen him in three days. <sighs> He's on the run. He's on the run. So you're going to probably kill yourself because... You, you know most of y'all be cowards and don't want to get taken alive, so. Um, but you don't have to worry about it. They'll take you alive. You're not African-American. I can still hear the voice. She wasn't just a face on the milk carton. She was real to me, she said. She said she can remember Petito sobbing in the back of the cruiser. I, I was probably more candid with her than I should have been, Hall said. No, you wasn't, honey. She told Petito that her and Laundry's relationship had the markings of a toxic one. I was imploring with her to reevaluate the relationship, asking her if she was happy in the relationship with him, and basically saying that this was an opportunity for her to find another path to make a change in her life and, you know, just stop this. In the audio obtained by the Daily Mail, the male caller tells a Grant County Sheriff that a gentleman in a white van with a Florida license plate has slapped a girl in a vehicle before driving away. The man um, also mentions um, the incident that happened by Moonflower, likely referring to the Moonflower Community Cooperative, where Laundry and Pito stayed the night of August 11th. When they were reportedly seen then having an explosive fight. I'm right in the corner of Main Street by Moonflower and we are driving and I'd like to report a domestic um, dispute. Florida with a white van, Florida license plate, white van, the man says before being interrupted by the officer who asked him exactly what he saw. Well, they just drove off. They're going towards Main Street. They made a right onto Main Street for Moonflower. We drove by him. A gentleman was just slapping the girl. The man continues. He was slapping her, the sheriff asked. Yes. And then we stopped. And they ran down and up the sidewalk. He proceeded to hit her. He hopped in the car and they drove off. Mm, mm, mm. Well, shortly after the call, Petito and Laundry were filmed in um, body cam footage when they were stopped by the Moab police. In the video, an emotional Petito with tears streaming down her face tells the officers that she was trying to get to him. She was trying to get him to stop telling her to calm down and admitted that the cop, I mean, to the cop that they had been fighting all morning. 
The 911 call is the latest in a series of major developments in the case over the weekend. Um, unfortunately, domestic violence is all that stuff is on the rise. Um, when somebody's doing that to you, it can't end good. You got to get out of it um, because nine out of ten times you're going to end up just like you're going to end up. I mean, Gabby, she's one of millions that get involved with in, in these entanglements with these abusive, insecure weak drug addicts and maybe she was the same I don't know but she's not on the run and she didn't kill nobody so with that being said um, I, I, my heart goes out to their family my prayers go out to the uh, family and um, you know, it's just sad sad situation